Alright, so I'm going to be removing the transmission from this 2000 Outback. It's a 5 uh, manual, 5 speed manual. Six. I've already had this transmission out before. It was one out of the uh, This is a manual I pulled out of a car, but uh, it's got some bearings in here on the back shaft or uh, the back end that uh, they got a pretty good howl on them, but that's the problem. I uh, pulled it out, had no idea uh, any problems it might have had. There's no information on it. Um, it shifts great, everything's good, but it's just. Uh, so the bearings are bad back here. I've already had to change change one of the bearings, uh, but had no idea how bad it was because of the you know where it was at. Um, drove fine about 60 miles, and it started howling again. Pretty sure it's the bearing that rides right back here, uh, back side of the uh, center if, but. Um, I've got all three bearings to replace, which will be all four bearings in this back end. Uh, there's no noise, no howling coming from up actually in the transmission, but I want to go ahead and pull it out anyway. Uh, the ceiling still is dripping a little bit, so I'm going to just basically reseal it so it'll be easier to clean everything up, make sure any debris and everything that I can get removed out of it um, from the bearing is removed but we got just some stuff to take out and then like I said I gotta do the shafts get them out of the way and then uh, get it out it doesn't weigh too much about 180 pounds uh, I've taken one out in the um, jungle which is what we have here for pull aparts uh, this is actually one I pulled out of the jungle of the Nampa um, like I said, it uh, seems to shift fine. Everything seems to go well with it. Uh, and the rear tire as well. So. And it, uh, everything seems to be fine with it as well. Uh, again. So. Alright, so let's get on here. You see, I just had to loosen up the bottom one, take out the top one to get it to pull out enough to remove the axle from the transmission. Okay, so let me see we got it removed here. On the other side. I already broke these loose. Roll pins. Let's see the roll pins over there. With my tool. All we gotta do there. If we we're changing this axle at that point, we loosen up this nut, pull the axle out, we're swapping a new axle. It's that easy. Now, if you have any problems, I mean, if it's an old one, you may have to pound it out here. Usually on the inside, my experience, dozens of axles I've replaced, not had any uh, of those stick on the inside. 
So, but now we'll move to the top here. Remove the air box, get it out of the way. I have access to the top bolts. These are all 10 millimeter. This is eight millimeter or a flat tip. Disconnect fresh air lines. These go to the vent on the uh, motor. The ambient air temperature, input air temperature. And then the PCV goes right here, pops off. And now we are ready to remove this part of the air box. Now as we go, this bracket will get removed because it's attached to the transmission. See the dog bone here? We gotta disconnect this bolt. Oop, it's not tight anyway. And then you gotta disconnect this. Starter down here is uh, some of the um, transmission mount bolts to, uh, the, to the motor. A couple uh, wire connections. Part of the wiring harness that is the transmission neutral and reverse, as well as on the on the left uh, past driver's side, left side, and over here is the um, hmm, speed again but yeah, we'll get it because it will fall loose as we uh yes as we get the transmission pulled all right so disconnect these wiring harnesses here Those 
cars here is, is an oxygen sensor. So we have the other sense, push through sensor wire fed up out of the way. Here. And then we'll disconnect the uh, speed, uh, speed sensor down on this side, which is the speedometer feed. feed. Pop the uh, clutches. the top it's a ground cable to the motor and it's also the top stud for the uh, uh, starter and I'm gonna go underneath remove this and remove the starter so we can set it out of the way so you can see here down underneath got pretty good access the drive uh, the CV axle here. And I'm gonna remove these two bolts here, which is the bracket for the airbox, and then that for the starter. I'm gonna be able to pull the starter out and then remove the the bolts for the transmission. Put this big brace here, mount here will be what I get. You know, I have to remove, I'll get the jack in here, support the transmission, you know, hold it up while I remove all this hardware here, which is the shift linkage.
torque down pretty good. So I've got the starter bolt coming out, as you can see. Go ahead and pull that bolt down it from underneath. Alright, that one's out. So now, as you can see, just work down way right down. A couple bolts there, some bolts on the inside. This is what we're getting. All right. So now, we'll be working on taking down the mount. Get ready to, so I can remove this part. And we are very close to at that point. Get the transmission off. I have to remove the bolts. Still mounting the transmission, but I think this is a good vantage point to see the work that's going to get done here. We need to get the jack at least close. So the mount here has four fourteen millimeter on this either side. cross member and then there's two that go to the transmission mount right here which I'm going to disconnect leave the transmission mount connected to the transmission for now and these are just nuts it's a stud the transmission mount has a stud on it and then these two 17 millimeter and then this will come out as a unit. Easiest way to remove it. Right like that. Get that out of the way. So, like I said, I've got the transmission mount here, which 
so now it's easier to remove the four 14 millimeter bolts that hold it on. That's out of the way. Now I had to replace this one as well because it is ripped. I need to say this engine and or this transmission uh, setup on this car has been having problems since it was taken out. Or since the motor's taken out, doing a uh, head gaskets with the transmission. Uh, needed a clutch, did helped the owner with the clutch on that, and then I think we damaged the case during the process of getting the having to fix part of the clutch because when the clutch is put in, there are plates that were not put in, uh, it was not lined up, and it ended up cracking the uh, clutch plates. So I had to take it out again, and I think when we were doing it the second time, the uh, transmission mount uh, torqued too much, getting the motor out, and it cracked the case. That ended up actually blowing out the side of the transfer case here, so we had to get a new transmission, and that's what this one is. Got it out of the Jalopy Jungle, out of a 2000 uh, Legacy. GT wagon. Pretty nice car that had no record on it. What was wrong with it? Looked like it was in good shape. Alright, we gotta get a wrench on the other side of this one. No, no. Got it broke loose. This is 12 millimeter. That is the uh, part of the transmission shift linkage right there. All right. So at this point, this is out of the way. This bracket is fine, so we've got it disconnected. Now we can start pulling out the 14 millimeter bolts and nut and pull the transmission back and get it removed. I'll get my bag here for the hardware in a little bit. Because of the uh, axle shafts that are coming out of the transmission, need an extension of a little bit of a wobble to get around that. This one has the hanger for the O2 sensor. Put up the side.
top one is a stud, like on the other side, where it has the uh, grounding cable. This one has the wiring harness. Okay, those are all out of the way. We can get it out. everything's clear never not catching on anything I actually forgot about that cable a couple times. This is just out of the way. It's a uh, grounding cable. Yeah, but it's 
gets out, you gotta get it out. Hanging your bracket just so that it's not in the way. Alright. But otherwise, we got it down and out. Now it's a matter of getting it out from underneath the car. Okay, so. So a few months ago when I picked this up at the Zwaki Jungle in order to try to get it out from underneath the car which they were just up on uh, tire rims that have been welded together Oop. We got this Versa
that. So there it is. Five speed manual transmission. Out of a uh, this one came out of a Legacy GT, but just pulled it out of an Outback.